Hello everyone, I'm glad to be here. My name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, let's talk about tests. And on this video, I will cover more around inject parameter in the test using GUnit Jupyter params. Before start, let's answer the first question that might come to your mind. Why should I use injection parameters in my tests? We usually can do that when we have a complex object or the object has information that comes from a REST application or a database application. And looking more to my test context, I don't care. I just want this object provided by me. This way I can use to test the object or use this object to test uh, another class such as a service. The main point here is to split the responsibility of the test to create an instance. Okay. To make it possible, we just need to go to our project and then add JUnit Jupyter params. And that is it. So let's create a, a test here, this time in uh, using injection of my player on my param. So I will create my method should create player, player, where this time I will receive a player from my parameter. As you can see here, I don't care where this information comes from. I will check first if this value, this player is not new, okay? Then I will create a team where my team is Bahia. So I come here, I will put the name, I will add Bahia, the player. Right now I can use asset J to test if my player is there. So assertion, I can do something like this. I, let's use the power of copy paste again. Has the size of one, where I can, if I wish, player map it by player, and it should contains the player name that I received. That is it. I don't care about the player data information. I just want to make sure that once I receive the player, I will inject, I will use this player inside my team and this player should be there. The injection, the annotation is a little bit different. So instead of tests, we're gonna use the parameterized tests. And now we need to inform where this information comes. In our first sample, we're gonna use the notation method source, where we need to define a method that will provide to us the, the information. In this case, the player. I will create the players here, so it will be a collection of arguments. As you can see, argument is a class from JUnit. As you can see here, is more precisely an interface where I need to use exactly this met name here and return list of arguments 
the player. So player of Neymar. I should learn more about soccer. I just have Neymar as player. Uh, the city, Santos, and then the score. As usual, I pull 10. So let's increase a little bit more. Let's use 11 set. And then run our test. What I'm doing here? I mean, injecting the player for the parameter. Check if everything is okay. And then run my test. As you can see, it passed it. Let's right now create another scenario where I need to make sure that my team is full. In the soccer player, we should not have a team with a bigger number than 11 players. Let's create for the scenario here. So public void should throws an exception when the team is over and I will inject my players here so a list of player where I will use the player's name I will create a team guess what with the name Bahia ah uh, yes I have a huge imagination right and Bahia I will interact the players. Mm, I will do my for it. I will take by here and then add one by one. And of course, I need to do the exceptions. I search through over team exception. And it make sure that, okay. I will create by uh, one more player. Let's put a bad, a not good player. So Otavio from Salvador. If doubt any goals. Okay. I will do the exact same thing that I did. So let's come here. Let's fix the typo first. Uh, we use the copy paste power right now. I just will change the method name. Full team. And then I will use the power of copy paste. I will do it again just because I love it. And this time, my argument will be a list of 11 players. So I come here, list of 11 Neymars. And that is it. So I have my, my, okay, he's complaining about some typos, let's copy paste here. Uh, uh, but as you can see, I will run my test again, this time with 11 players, where I will add one by one, and then it should throw an exception when I try to include me on the team. Let's see what's going on. And as you can see, I included, okay, exception, my team. Sometimes we want just to include strings or integer or some object more uh, primitive to handle. If you wish, you can do it. For example, public void should create team where I have my name here, the, the team name, and what I'm gonna do, I have my team, team, team of name, I will check um, 
such that I will check if it's not new. I will extract the team, the name, and it should be equals to the name. Right now, I have my test, and my test has a goal to check, okay, give that name, I should create a team with that name that should not be new, and equals uh, of that name. I can should use the parameters, parameterize the test. Oops, not you. And this time, I will use value source. And at value source, we have a couple options here. Charts, bytes, int, longs, floats, double, charts, booleans, strings, class, uh, of course, we're gonna use the string option. So I come here, the strings. Uh, I have just Bahia and Santos on my mind right now. And if you wish, you even can put more information like should create a team with the name, uh, the first parameter that I will receive. Okay, I will run this test and let's see what's going on. And it should run the sum test twice, as you can see, one with the name Bahia and another one with the name Santos. Okay, what do we do have right now? We have the value source with more Java types uh, information where I can inject using my annotation self. I can use the method resource where, as you can see, it will call the method here. So for name and players, but imagine a scenario that we want to split. We really need to take the information from another place, like a class, because it needs to go through a database, a service, and we don't want to contaminate our tests with the object creation. Uh, what we can do is public void should create total score and a list of players will be my player players i really don't care about this so i will create my team this time the city where i'm living so go area i'm not sure if they have a soccer team but anyway i have my players where i will do my for it and then include one by one I have my int score team score and this value should be equals to asset equals um, the team score should be equals of the player score so player score what I need to do, I need to come here, player score, where each we do a string, I will do a map to int, where I will take the score, and then summarize the score. Right now, I still need to have my parameterized test, and I will use a different annotation the argument source. Right now, I need to inject my class, so player provider, where I will create. So player provider, it doesn't have it yet. So let's create player, oops, provider. 
and this class need to implement the argument provider interface arguments provider interface for sure from JUnit Jupyter and we will implement here we have the the context on this case we don't need to use we will only create a list of players so players new array list and then add one player of i don't know poliana from salvador 20 score let's use the copy paste this time myself Octavio, zero calls. And here, you can use whatever you want. You can use the context to know, okay, on this case, I will take information from the database or from my microservice, from my API, or from my files or property files. It doesn't matter. Um, what do we have here? So I just need to do the argument string of players. The, the main point here is my test does not care about it. They just need to know, okay, given I have a, a list of players, I will create a Liria team and then take the score where this score should be uh, the total of the, the, the players. As you can see, it's really useful. So you can use to make your code more uh, maintainable, to split what matter to your test context, okay? Remember, I'm using just one class, but it's an argument where you can put one, two, three, whatever information there uh, I use the sample of microservice and files but the, the main goal here is to give the information where I don't want to handle right now I will test my business my context and my design I able to see here also the solid principle specifically the single of responsibility so my test will test my business case on this, on this point the team my test should not care about the player creation and that's exactly what i'm doing hopefully you can use you can apply enjoy it and make your code more simpler and more efficient bye